I don't know why it has to be so difficult and unfair. Like, every single one of these cart things has, like... There's a difference between difficult and unfair, and that is actually unfair. Like, there is no way you can predict any of it, and the controls are, like, too slow. But it's like, that's the thing, I came all the way up here, and, like, all I get is this shit. Maybe you can spend more time crashing into the things, rather than... Because normally you crash into the things, I lose my gems. Oh, you lose all of them. I lose, a, like, a, a pretty hefty handful. Oh, this is actually a thing. Ah. Hmm. Oh, cool, we got the uh, thingy. Neat. Power up. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, so, as I was saying, Doctor Who, yeah. If I was to write it, I'd make it like a one season, like, everything is set in like the small town, you know, something to like, write a really cool, awesome story around time travel or something like that. You know, really flesh out all the, the characters, you know. Mm. get really invested in them and stuff like that because that's the thing right the other th thing that you really need to get invested in characters is time mm. and that's the thing that like <coughs> I've said about you know movies and stuff like that is there's just never enough time to properly you know talk about everything they, they need to oh mm. this is a different kind of slot machine we're about to go win another problem with Clara is that well, even though she apparently got got closer to the doctor she, um, we didn't get to see any of that happen. She just somehow found out that he could regenerate and change his face. But, then, but, the, but, we, we never got to see them get closer. But the whole, um, Amy and Rory thing, that was done way better. Because, just kind of, it was like the Doctor owed Amy adventures because he kind of ran off and... Yeah. Came back 12 years later. I guess so. And... And so that... And also he... He, uh, he had a real liking to her when she was little. And she, And... And so that they had... They kind of had an established connection. When she grew up. And so that was something that they could... That they... That people could relate to them on. Yeah. They're just like long time friends. Yeah, long time friends and all things like that. Oh, I just need a quick breather. Uh, okay. I'm not quite sure about Bill though. What She's about? just kind of a doctor's that, yeah, student. They certainly could have like fleshed out her character a lot more. But she's better than Clara. Oh yes. <laughs> Way better. Well, I mean, apart from her being completely irrational. And so boring. She's not boring. Clara. Oh yeah, Clara is. Yeah. <laughs> Bill really? might be irrational, yeah. But also, she... she uh, just that one scene really, like, irks me, I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. Got the hang of this now. Well, that's the thing um, that uh, Stu Bagful says about um, the monks thing. It starts off really well, but the way they end it is not good. They just kind of stuffed it up at the end. I don't even, I don't even think they explained everything. Like, why did they go in a pyramid? Yeah. I don't, know. I don't think they ever said that. You know, I was no. thinking about it the other day. I'm like, Why well, that's what he said. Is just like, there's story and then there's story arc. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he, he's like. The story is the pyramid and the story arc is the monks. Yeah, and the two of those things do not link. No, I don't. Like, I feel like that they had to. They were going to explain it, but they didn't have like time and. Yeah, the, in if the you don't have time, don't try it. Yeah. So like just throw it in the bin and be like, well, I can't do that one. I'll just flesh out other stuff. Yeah, that's the thing about um, working on a TV show is you got to give yourself, like, leeway to get rid of things, you know? Yeah. Because that's just going to happen all the time. Yeah, with, uh, and it's not it's not like um, the BBC don't care that the content's rubbish because they do care. They want views. Well, it's not rubbish. No, but uh, if... It, if they would prioritise quality over quantity. And in the Morpha era, it has gone from being 13 episodes and one special per wow. year to um, 12, 12 episodes and one special per year. And that's just in the Capaldi stuff. Yeah. Um, and what I found more interesting is that they got more views from doing less episodes. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that must mean you pumped out a lot of rubbish. A lot of stuff no one just cared about at all. What the fuck? I'm trying to do this. Don't blazer me while I'm trying to play your game. What the fuck? Why would they put that enemy there? What? 
Another problem that I had with Stephen Moffat is that, um, or maybe it's, it's not really a problem with him, it's just in his time, the internet has had a bigger role in, um, public opinion on, um, who the new Doctor is and what the episodes are like, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I had never heard of um, Matt Smith until he just appeared after David Tennant regenerated, and I thought that was really good. Most doctors are like that, though. But I knew Peter Capaldi was going to be the Doctor. I ne- oh, I, just, I haven't heard of these pe- of these people when they become the Doctor. But I haven't heard of any of the people that no. were the Doctor before they became the Doctor. No, I've heard of the things they did done afterwards and like things like that. But yeah. yeah. But, but no, for me, every single one has been, like, a new person for me. Yeah. But um, okay. I, just, I don't like knowing um, knowing that they're going to be the next Doctor <sighs> before they become it. What do you mean? Like, so not ha- you don't like knowing this, that the new Doctor is whoever this person yeah, is? Yeah, but it would be more fun to find out when it suddenly happens and they appear yeah, on screen. Yeah, I completely agree, actually. Um, but the internet is so hostile that you'll find out before you want to. My mother uh, is a massive fan of Doctor Who as well. Yeah. And... <clears throat> and uh, she didn't watch, like, read the internet or anything when the first season came to an end. And for her, yeah, Chris Russell turning into David Tennant was fucking awesome because she loves David Tennant. Yeah. So how cool would that be? Like, if one of your favourite actors is, like, the Doctor and you didn't expect it and you just see him... Tra- like, you're like, that would have been freaking awesome. Hmm. Um. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> up. It didn't count. Are you no. kidding me? All right, hold on, and we're back. Yeah. Uh, time to do this again. What were you saying? Something about Doctor Who. Um. Oh my fucking god. Ah, uh, it's just my, my the role of the internet in New Doctors. I really, I, I really like surprises, and there's just so few of them on things that are really th- are popular, because everything is kind of announced, and then people have opinions before they find out. Oh, you're talking about internet spoilers. Oh, I'll tell you what, I fucking hate it. Yeah. I it's like, um, I found out that Kylo Ren killed Han Solo before I saw the movie, and I was planning on, see- on seeing it, and then I saw it, and I, I think, so, uh, I, uh, someone put it in the description of one of their videos, so, and, and I had them, I got, had email alerts on. Just a note for me in the future when I'm editing this. Maybe throw in a, a spoiler warning before he, he went and spoiled the end of the thing. You were just complaining about how people did it to you and then you just did it to anyone who might watch this. Star Wars came out in 2015 and the beginning of 2016. So? A spoiler happens when the when the thing is like after... Yeah. You can't put a, a date on these yes. things. Alright. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but nothing. A spo- you spoiled it, mate. Ugh. <laughs> it's fine. I'll put a warning. All right. Um, okay, I think I've done it's it. It's less of a spoiler if it's something like, um, how a game from ten years ago ends or something like that. Well, ten years ago is longer than like two years ago. Yeah. There's a difference there. All right. Well, we were talking about freaking Doctor Who episodes. Yeah, but they suck. Like the world enough in time and the doctor falls. Well, fine. I'll you put a spoiler for that too then. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't actually know where else to go, to be honest. This level's so big, but like, I feel like I've seen most of it, weirdly enough. Yeah, I've been all around that area. So, in your in your hypothetical I'm Doctor not, Who series, go back in there. there would be self-contained stories, but they would be relevant to the overall season, which takes place in the one location. No, not self-contained stories. One big overarching story. But how would they all individually be interesting? What do you mean? Would they all um, do something with certain characters or something? What are you talking about? The individual episodes of an entire series of Doctor Who. Just do it the way any fucking series does it. It has a continuing storyline. What the hell? What is this? Right, if it would take place at the at the one location. Yeah. So it would be the one location, but would the time periods be the same or different? They could be different. Alright. 